What's up guys? All right, so so we're doing we're doing some obedience with Savannah and we're using the, the e-collar and we're working at the door. So basically we don't want her like running really fast through doors or anything. So as we're working this, what I'm gonna do, um, we're using the wait command and, and I'm gonna push vibration if I tell her to wait and she goes through before I tell her to. Come on girl. Let's go for a walk. So when we open it, wait, I say wait. And if you notice, I'm not gonna stop her with my body or anything. That's just the expectation. Now I'm pushing the vibration, wait until she's all the way back in and let up. Good girl. Now you didn't see a ton of reaction. Oops, I'm pushing again. Let me show you the light so I can, hey. Good, and then I let up and say good. The key is I don't wanna be super stimulating with this. Like I don't want her to walk away with a big opinion one way or another of, of what happens at the doorways. So we got the tail wagon, good girl, nice focus. Okay, and then we allow her to go through right there. And, and so just so you know what my body did, as I said the word okay, I, I kind of, I just like, I did a gesture with my hand like down and out and that just kind of guided her with the leash and then she responded to it. Good girl, sweetie, heel. So as we start walking, we're gonna use the word heel, which is gonna signify where we want her to be. So as we start the walk, if she goes too fast or too far, I might just change directions and then I would push the vibration until she changed with me. So we wanna keep the tail in like a low, uh, low slow wag. So at this point, she's off leash healing. If I stop, I'm gonna say, Savannah, wait. So the first command tells her we have information coming. Good girl. Now, if you noticed, I told her to wait and she went a little far and she turned out in front of me. So I'm going for a heel position that has her stopping just like she is right here when we stop. And so this is, at this stage of teaching, I wanna stop kind of short and just, you know, reward this engagement. When she, when she gets right here, I just kind of want to uh, amplify the harmony. Now, if she lays down, heel, it's not really what I'm going for. I don't want her, oh, come here, girl. So I'm vibrating because she went away. Savannah, come. Savannah, come. Savannah, come. Good, good girl. So now I went to the electric with the e-collar there because she was refusing to come. And so I don't know if it's that she heard a noise because the neighbor's dog is barking. Heel. And I'm going to go back into a heel. And this time I'm going to do it on, on leash just to like help her work through that stress. So again, still loose leashed. But that's how we're going to get her back is by using the e-collar when she decides to run away. Because the goal of all of this is to give her more freedom and help her make good choices. Good freedom, controlled, continuous exposure, and, and success on her part with her handling things without, you know, without it being too overstimulating, too scary, anything like that. Um, that's what's gonna bring her like calmly to the next level. So hopefully that's not too hippie-ish and it makes sense. Um, good girl. So as I'm looking at her body language though, it's kind of subtle and I don't know how it looks like when you're you know, looking down from this angle of the phone, I see her head down a little bit more. So she's recovering from the stress of making her come back right now. And as, as we're creating this, uh, oh, this environment where she's having different coping patterns, this uh, neuroplasticity, during this phase, we're gonna see her get a little nervous because she doesn't have the same coping mechanisms that she had before. So we just want to teach her to be like, you don't have to, you don't have to be hyper. You don't have to be scared. Just be, be here in this moment with us. Oh. Come on, girl. Good. So we want her to keep coming. How you doing? Good. <clears throat> oh, she handled that so well. What a big girl. Yeah, so like I say, she speaks dog so well. So I think I, I talked about it in that video in my backyard. But I'm glad I had her on leash for that. So as a lesson, when you're walking by people's house, their dogs almost always come out of the open garage door. 
And in that situation, I just like to keep yakking and keep walking forward because that signifies to the dog, there's not a lot to be worried about. Now, that other dog's owner's voice was a little, a little bit more strong, a little bit more harsh. And, and that's, you know, that, that is what it is. Sometimes the dogs will be like, oh, the human's elevating because they don't have leverage over this dog. Therefore, maybe I should be a little bit afraid. So as a handler, you just want to keep your eye on the prize. Just be like, nope, we're just walking through this yard, especially before you have a lot of training. So once you have a lot of training, you should be able to put your dog in a down if another dog comes up to it. Um, and that's a lot. That's, that takes very high level of obedience and control, but yeah, you can totally get, get there with her. Anyway, hopefully, yeah, hopefully those ramblings made sense. We'll talk to you later.